Hi, I'm Lakbir Pabla, currently a fourth year biopharm student. I'm currently doing my co-op term at McMaster Hospital, working in the pediatrics department as a research associate. My first position was at a clinical research organization. I did pharmacokinetics, so a lot of calculation work and a lot of uh, analyzing data. My second term was working at a consulting firm and I was a research associate there and I was doing all sorts of projects from budget impact analysis to medical writing to creating different brochures and marketing products. I'm currently doing my thesis project coupled with a co-op term. I'm looking at the placenta, trying to isolate different proteins and create a new model system for the embryo. Coming into science in first year, all I knew were the major careers everyone knew, doctor, pharmacist, um, researcher. But I've seen all these other positions through all my co-op experiences and seen careers I never thought I would be interested in, seen careers I never knew existed and I might want to pursue in the near future. I definitely think it gives you an advantage when you go into the workforce and you say, hey, I've worked in a certain company, I've done this, I know how to do this. If there's a lot of skills that aren't necessarily reflected upon in your GPA that you can garner outside of school and that you should work on and you can apply these skills to any job position. There's a lot of duties working as a research associate. You have to be able to plan out all your experiments, look ahead to what you're going to do. Um, be prepared for any altercations you have to make to your experiments. Um, you have to know how to analyze your data. There's just so much you can do in a lab and it takes a very versatile person to work in a lab and be good at what they do. Aside from finding the first job, was learning all the new terminology at any job. A lot of the time you'll come into a position have to learn all these new things that you may have not been familiarized with in school. And I think that's pretty typical in any job. You might have to spend an extra hour or two at home to learn new techniques or learn new theories that you might have to apply to your daily work life. You're learning a new skill and it just shows persistence to your employer. The SEC office did a lot in terms of helping me find my first two jobs. They were there to help me do mock interviews, to prepare me. They looked over my resumes, um, my cover letters, and I think that really helped. I went to them multiple times and asked them even little changes on wording, from what kind of info should I include, to what do you know about this job? Do you have any students who did this job previously that I can speak to and get a little advice from? To see someone or speak to someone who's done this job and ask them what their experience was, what kind of things that these employers are looking for. So I definitely suggest keep on top of your work and keep on top of your job hunt.